I'm Laura Kimmerlingo. I'm the exhibitions assistant in the costume and textiles department, and I'm working here with Monica Brown, senior collections assistant for costume and textiles. Well, I think I can speak for the whole department when I say that we're all really excited about Patrick Kelly Runway of Love. Kelly's collections and runway shows celebrated women and featured women of all different ethnicities and sizes. Um, we chose these mannequins because they come in a range of skin tones. And the mannequins also have really dynamic poses. Each mannequin was handpicked by Monica and Dillis Blum, the exhibition's curator and senior curator of the costume and textiles department. And the tags you see around their necks um, tell us which outfit they'll be wearing in the show. So this is our supply box. It contains most things we could need while dressing from pantyhose to twill tape. In the case of Kelly's designs, which are very body conscious, a layer of pantyhose underneath can help keep them in place so they don't slide around, but it also gives them a nice smooth shape. So we're dressing more than 80 head to toe ensembles for Runway of Love. These include the outfits themselves plus accessories, and Kelly really loved accessories. When the collection first arrived here, the outfits had been separated from their accessories for storage. And so Monica actually watched all of Kelly's runway shows from 1985 to 1989 and went through them frame by frame to recreate the looks. So in many cases, we do have the right or matching accessories, but when we don't, um, let's say we don't have the original shoes that were worn with the dress, we will use installation or prop items. Uh, for this show, we purchased several dozen pairs of shoes, similar to the ones seen in Kelly's videos. So it can be from discount outlets, eBay, um, secondhand. We will look pretty much anywhere and everywhere to, to find what we need to make sure the look is right. Well, there is big general public interest in, in what we do and how we do it. And I think people are always surprised to learn that the way we dress at a museum is very different than maybe how they've seen it done in, say, a boutique or a department store or even um, runway styling. Um, we make all of the mannequins fit the garment rather rather than the other way around. So if you go to, say, a department store and you'll see if you walk around the back of a window or display little clips up the back, that's something we wouldn't do in a museum. As you see here, uh, when the mannequin is dressed but not ready for display or if we're going to move it, we wrap it with a sheet of Tyvek. Um, this protects the garment from the elements, things like light and dust, for example. We have Fabulous volunteers, many of whom have been with the department for five years or more. I think our longest serving is almost 20 years, and they just provide an amazing amount of support to our staff. And so here you see Debbie. She works with us. Um, she helps a lot with dressing and staging and things like that. Monica works closely with museum photographer Jason Wurzbicki to capture our collection. We always want to shoot the outfit overall. Um, in what we call a record image for reference and research, but we also try to capture more dramatic poses as well. We also photograph the back of each costume and sometimes capture details of interest in constructions or embellishments as well. Jason does an amazing job, we call it, we ask him to do his magic, um, making sure that the pictures look perfect before they go live on the web. Patrick Kelly Backstage will open on February 15th and we'll be dressing um, in front of the public for about a month and they'll have a chance to come in and see essentially what we're doing here, which I think should be hopefully really fun and exciting and um, you know they can come by and ask us questions and things like that. And then Patrick Kelly Runway of Love and Girl in Jeans Loves Patrick Kelly open at the museum on April 27th. <laughs>